Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, Genesis chapter 11. The whole earth and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there. And they said to one another, Come. Let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, come, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And Jehovah came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And Jehovah said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language. And this is what they begin to do. And now nothing will be withholden from them which they purpose to do. Come, let us go down and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So Jehovah scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore was the name of it called Babel, because Jehovah did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did Jehovah scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat Arpashad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begot Arpashad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arpashad lived five and thirty years and begat Shelah. And Arpashad lived after he begot Shelah for a hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Shelah lived thirty years and begat Eber. And Shelah lived after he begot Eber four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. <clears throat> and Eber lived four and thirty years and begat Peleg and Aver lived after he begat Peleg four hundred and thirty years and begat sons and daughters and Peleg lived thirty years and begot Reu and Peleg lived after he begot Reu two hundred and nine years and begat sons and daughters and Reu lived two and thirty years and begat Sarag and Reu lived after he begot Sarag two hundred and seven years, and begot sons and daughters. And Sarag lived thirty years, and begot Nahor. And Sarag lived after he begot Nahor two hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years, and begot Terah. And Nahor lived after he begot Terah a hundred and nineteen years and begot sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years, and begot Abraham, Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran, Haran begot Lot, and Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity, and Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. And Sarah was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. 
and they came unto Haran, and dwelt there, and the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. All right, that was Genesis chapter 11. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and uh, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions or comments, just write them down below. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.